Happy Whiskey Wednesday. Happy Women of Whiskey Wednesday. Hi, all. Hi. Hi. Are you soft spoken tonight? I'm good. Yes. I'm excited. Okay. Full disclosure. Mm -hmm. I did taste this. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to think about Indian whiskey. Okay. I'm not going to tell you because okay. I just want you to try it. Okay. I have not tasted this. I just realized this whole thing is a mess and I'm definitely going to get caught up in it That's okay. It's all good. Okay. I have you not tried this at all. You figure out your stuffs. I'll try my best to figure out my stuffs, but I've been trying for a while. Mm. Hi, everyone. <sighs> I'm so glad it's Wednesday. I was ready for a Wednesday. We're going to have a good day. Da, da, da. I have been sick forever and I'm so excited I'm not sick anymore. I'm ready. I haven't had like whiskey. I haven't. I've been such a good girl. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready to have it's some whiskey. It's going to be a good time. I may have had a whiskey before we started. Just yeah. a though. But, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's the let's, 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 let's do the things. Let's see who's okay. here. All right. MC was here first. Hey, MC. She says, cheers, y'all. Mash that. Mm early and take good care of each other. Hi, MC. Hope all is good. Uh, Michael S. is here saying good evening, all you wonderful wintry whiskey people. There's finally a chill in the air here in North. Oh, it's freaking good. cold here. I'm we're, not going to lie. We're getting snow tomorrow. Uh, uh, mm. Okay. Uh, Art by Sparkle says, hello, lovely, lovely ladies. Hi. Hi, Sparkle. Um, go moving on. We've got story time is here saying cheers. Chris S B W E says cheers and Merry Christmas season. It is officially Christmas season. It is. And I, I held back. I did not decorate the bar yet. Let's, let's not encourage her too much. <sighs> I am not yet. Live Warrior Whiskey says cheers, ladies. So Mike's in the background. He's tracking our giveaways tonight. Thank you so much. I love him so much. I'm bringing up the YouTubes on here so that I can do the pinning. Sean Peak says, happy Wednesday all. Deathless Dog says, cheers, everyone. Hi, Dan. Hi. Parks Place says, sup. Taste and Sensibility, cheers, everyone. Yeah. Judith Berlane is here saying, hi, ladies. Hi, beautiful. Mr. Jiggs. Yes. Mr. Jiggs is new member. Hi. Time for emojis. Pup you get, emojis. You get the pup emojis. Juan is here. Here. What? You're a writer in here. A light? No. Okay, it's not important. I mean, I probably, yeah, over there. It's not important. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Juan is here. Greetings from Rollins, Wyoming. Juan, what are you doing in Wyoming? Tell us. I must know. Jerry Black says, cheers, ladies. Y'all looking. <gasps> Jigs is throwing out those emojis. The emojis. Sorry, Jerry Black says, y'all looking fire tonight. Well, that's because you have a favorite. Thank you. Oh, that's no, I'm kidding. kidding. <laughs> that's, that's, thanks a lot for that. I and love that so much. Mr. Jigs with all my favorite emojis, Ellie, Santa, mustard, Christmas tree, whiskey, whiskey. Those are your favorite emojis. They really are. <laughs> that and the snowman with the snowflakes all around him, and he's going, Jesse. Have you not? Yeah. yeah okay. No, yeah. I do. I did. I okay. got it. Okay. Yeah. It's a cute one. That is. And wait. the Mrs. Claus emoji. Because that's What's my. What's the jazz fingers? Is that bring it on? Yeah. Jazz hands. <gasps> These are spirit fingers. No, spirit, spirit fingers. fingers. That's what it is. Okay. These See? are spirit fingers. My millennial, These my millennial loving person is coming out. I'm doing so the proud of you. I know. Oh, oh so he travels to Colorado weekly and stays in Wyoming for a while. Oh, okay. Okay. Perfect. Wait until you guys see my shoes. Hang on, I'm gonna take one off. Oh. Please don't take your shoes off. Look, they're Christmas lights. You know what would make those better? They glow in the dark. Socks. No, they're <laughs> they're lined. John Cloud says, cheers, wow. Well, okay, taste and sensibility. We have figured it out. I don't have my sheet in front of me though. I'll message you. We are doing your rum flight next. We, oh shit, we keep saying that. We never remember when. Hang on, I'm going to pull it up. <laughs> I have a device. We suck. That so, can Taste and Sensibility us. sent us this amazing flight, and I'm waiting for the perfect moment. We got it figured out. It's not tonight. I'm so sorry. For some reason, I'm going to the 2022 live stream list. That's yeah, don't weird. do that. We're That's doing not it. Indian it, whiskey. It is next week, December next week. 6th. December 6th, yes. we are going to drink this amazing flight that Taste and Sensibility sent us. I'm excited. Actually, I have not had any of those, and I'm 
pretty stoked. Me too. It's going to be a good time. Yes. Okay. Uh, for those of you that joined us for Friendsgiving, what a great time. That was so fun. A little bit of a shit show. A little bit. But it went off the rails. But hard. So much fun. I was <laughs> good and toasty by the end of that stream. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I apologize <laughs> in retrospect. <laughs> it was pretty entertaining overall. Like... Yeah, it was a good stream. But we gave away a lot of good stuff. 12. 12 total, total count yes. Was 12 bottles. We, we are having 12 bottles showing up at other people's places. Yeah, it was so much fun. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Okay. Uh, yeah, Sean Peake, it is a rum flight mm -hmm. that has bourbon notes. So it'll be interesting. I'm not a huge rum drinker. I'm not opposed to rum. I just don't have a lot of exposure to rum. So it'll be totally fun. I'm gonna bring a palette. I'm I'm bringing a palette cleanser. He gave us little note kits, little oh. yeah. So that's a whole thing. Well, I was just thinking the dachshund rum that I got from Thrasher. I was like, that'd be a fun one. I could throw that one in there as a like a in between them kind I of mean, thing. I mean, why not? But I don't. It might. I don't know how rum goes together. It's gonna. You know what? It's gonna throw it off. Never mind. You know what? It's all good. It's it'll all good. be fun. Yeah. Tonight. Yeah. Same old stuff, the mystery boxes. Yeah. The Patreon Plinko. Yeah. An Indian whiskey. An Indian whiskey. And a game. Yes. Okay. Because so, it's the fifth Wednesday. So we figured there was an extra Wednesday. Why not throw a game into the mix? Mm -hmm. Um, I saw the title of this and I was a little worried, but um, I think really it's called, I'll show you one of the cards. It's called, I wish I didn't know. And um, you guys can. Well, play. I already saw what the answer is, so we got to move okay, back to the we'll, bottom. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll cut the deck. We'll cut the deck. All right, there we go. Um, Nassif Family Reserve Rum is phenomenal. I love Nassif, so honestly, I I haven't had that. Jerry Black is that like readily available? So I wouldn't mind maybe tasting that along with our flight because I love Nassif Family Reserve. It's funny because it was like a big thing. Everybody was drinking it a couple of years back and I hadn't revisited mine in a while. And we pulled out our batch three the other night. Oh, it was so good. So yeah. Anyways, BT is here. Hi, Brian. How are you? Um, yeah. So anyway, I went back and revisited that NASA batch great. three and that was awesome. I forgot how much I loved it. That's the thing. You you start collecting whiskey, and we open all our bottles, but you forget the ones you loved because yes. they get pushed to the back with the new bottles. So we started kind of like going through our inventory. Mm -hmm. Some of this stuff I haven't tasted in a while. Mm. Dang. I did that the other Oh, you know what it was? It was our Ezra Idaho pick. I have it over here sometimes. The Ezra? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm But I forgot that I had a little bit more at home, and there's two pours up. So I had one pour that night. Um, well, I soaked in the bath because my gosh, long day, you know, I'm going to save the other one for a chug night. All right. I'll bring it over one of okay. these days. It's going to be a good time. Um, Sparkle, your Ellie Mustard coin? No, wait. What did I send out to Sparkle? Sparkle, I just sent you something. I don't remember what. I do a lot of shipping. So do you. Yeah. We do a lot of shipping. I don't know. <laughs> So the Ellie Mustard coins, everyone, if you haven't received one, you're supposed to have one. It's on its way. Um, God, those turned out good. They're so cute. It could just be because we love our dogs. They're but so cute. Anyways. Should we talk about injury? We should. Okay. My glass is empty. Your glass is empty. Let's fill it up. Shane, hey, look. Oh, it's story time. Okay. This is what we're drinking. It is Indry Single Malt Indian Whiskey. It's cast strength. It's the Indry Drew. Yes. This just came out. Okay. I would love to say that I came across this. It was not me. It was my husband, William. And bless I him. How you clarify which husband it was? Well. It was my husband, William. <laughs> I have a couple in the background. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> um, anyway, this, I was super excited. Well, actually I wasn't. He brought it home and I'm like, Indian whiskey. I tasted it. Yeah. You think differently now? Well, cause so we do some reviews and I've been looking for like a re I want to review something I've never had. Mm -hmm. Cause lately all our reviews have been like on point. Like we love them. Yeah. 
And I don't want people to think like we love everything. That's true. So I thought, oh, I'll do a review on this Indian whiskey. I love it. Review dropping tomorrow, by the way, for those that uh, are interested. Yeah. Um, wait, what was that? Parks Place says it was a treat seeing that Woodford Reserve pick waiting at his doorstep after getting back from Thanksgiving. Oh, good. It's good. Oh, Thanks. Also, the coin is amazing. Good. Good. I'm glad the courier got that to you. Uh, Bourbon Engineer. Cheers, Wow. Cheers, Bourbon Engineer. Okay. Let's pull out this bottle. I know. I'm, I'm getting it. I got to open the box and do all the things. It's, it's so beautifully packed in here. All right. This is a struggle. It really is. If you can see this shit. <coughs> Why? <clears throat> it's, right? it's, it's, it's just water. It's just water. That's dark. Okay. Juan says, LOL, I love everything so far. Still new to spirits, oh. though. You know, you're going to find your loves and your hates. Yeah. Wait, let's see. Oh, that's nice. Oh, he's a decent pop. That's nice. He's decent. Yeah. I didn't love it or anything. No. <laughs> okay. Did you? You're welcome. Okay, wait. Oh, I may have nice. started with something else. So. Shayla. Shayla, hello, dear. Hi. We've been chatting. It's so good to see you in here. I'm glad you're able to reach this time zone. Yeah. All right. So, um... We don't see Shayla in here very often. She has a channel called Whiskey Central. If you love scotch, I mean, she does a lot of things. But if you love scotch, that's the girl. Yeah. That is the girl to go check out. Please, someone drop her link yeah, because uh, it's an amazing channel. Sundays, I believe, during the day. Is it Sundays? Saturdays. Is it Saturdays? Because I watch the replays. Yeah. I usually can't catch her live, so I watch the replays. Sorry, Shayla, when do you go live? I'm so sorry. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Saturday because I'm pretty sure I saw it at games before and I'm like, it's, I'm at a game. I can't watch this. Yeah, yeah. But she's got some great input on things that I have not tasted or had. Yeah. Yes. Saturday. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's at like four each hour. I don't know. I'm getting too, too technical. I'm probably wrong. It's okay. Much. Yeah. All right. So. Look, I'm drinking out of the OG Patreon. Oh, it does nice. Yeah. Okay. It's Nemi's. Tell me what you get because I know what hits me right off the bat. The nose is beautiful. Okay. See, we jumped right in. I agree the nose is beautiful. And what I'm about to say is going to make that sound wrong. <laughs> It smells like you were out in a peanut field and you grabbed a whole like thing, like a whole plant and ripped it up and it still had all the dirt on it. Peanut, really? Yeah. Dirty peanuts. Okay. Dirty peanuts. Okay. What's your number one? Don Rand says, good evening, folks. This should be interesting. I generally love Indian whiskey, but I thought that the injury... Is it Trini or Trini? Because I didn't look it up and I didn't want to say it wrong. So okay. it was just okay. Trini sounds like Trinity, Trini. but it's not an English word. So so I didn't watch anything on this stuff because I wanted, I haven't never had Indian whiskey until this one. Mm -hmm. But I did see that a lot of people talked about it. I don't know what they said. So that's the first I've heard about it, Donald. But I will say, I don't know what that was like, but this has a beautiful nose. Um, story time coming in with a $20 super chat saying, miss you. Oh, Shane, you know where we are. Hi. We haven't changed. We miss you We're too. still here. It's so good to see you Very here. Much. Oops. I'm just tapping shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. What else are you getting? So I get hit with fermented fruit. Okay. Fermented melon, to be specific. Okay. Actually, on the nose, fermented fruit. I'm going, I'm regressing. Okay. Uh, William says, Donald Rance, I like the Drew. Haven't tried Trini. 
I don't know. Can you, can you? Trini is, tr is in short for Trinity. Yes. Good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. And we've got Livewire Whiskey at the $10 Super Chat. Two for Shayla saying these ladies are freaking rock stars. I freaking love you, Mike. Thank you so much for tracking and being our friend. The coconut. Yeah. Yep. Right? Yep. Like, like coconut tanning oil. Yeah. yeah. For those of us that pretend we never got we never into did a that. tanning bed, but we really did. Yeah. Never did that. My sister worked at a tanning salon when I was in high school. That was, that was bad news. This I ginger didn't look so ginger. I worked in a tanning bed. Yeah. I had three jobs back then. Uh -huh. I would go home, sleep for a half hour. I'd get up, go to work at 530 in the morning, work till three, take a half hour nap, be to work by four, work till nine. Then I did, um, oh, what are those? It's back before computers because I'm old as shit. The home parties, I did three a week of those oh, yeah, yeah. for someone else. I just hosted them and got paid. Okay. So I didn't sleep. No. That really was no information anyone needed. Hi, Aaron Pierce. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. I just sent you a note and I'm really excited for you to read it. Um, I have a bottle of Amrit Cast Strength Perfect Bottle. Doesn't matter. It's from India. Awesome bottle and complex. Mm. I have actually never, I, I've never had anything like this. So we're going to take a couple sips of this before we start our game. Okay. It's right there. <laughs> it's there right there. It? The tongue. Yeah. See, it, it, it didn't for me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Whiskey Central says, let's get this party started. <laughs> oh, look, she's ready. She's ready. She's ready. She's in it to win it. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Okay. Tell me yours. Tea. Yeah. Like hibiscus tea. Oh, yeah. I've been drinking that when I was sick. I drank a lot of hibiscus tea. So, like, totally. Yeah. I thought maybe it's just because I was drinking it. But you weren't drinking it. No, I wasn't drinking it. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Um... Again, fermented melon. Okay, But yeah. not off-putting fermented melon. Like, like if you had strawberry wine, 17, <laughs> hot July moon. All right, we, we, this is too much. It's too much. It's fine. Mm -hmm. This is game night, not karaoke night. Mm. Yeah, All I right. get that melon. And I'm not a huge melon fan. That's not a favorite flavor for me. But it's not bothersome here. Right? It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so this is Injury Drew. Injury Drew, um, it was just released in June. Or, yeah. June? Yeah. Bottled, or bottled in June just released. Yes, bottled okay. in June just released. Uh, cantaloupe. Cantaloupe or watermelon. Ooh, hold on. That's a very good question, Bourbon Engineer. I have to go, and I know you didn't ask this, but it is distinctly different. I'm going to say honeydew. Yeah. I was thinking that, too, and I was like, maybe it's just the candle. Like the really ripe, really almost too ripe honeydew where it's almost squishy. I don't like that. I don't like either one of them. Aaron Pierce says, saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, Livewire, yeah, it's it's definitely one of the top five. Angels Envy Rye. That's, That's true. She does, I think I just she does finished love my, it. Well, I didn't finish mine off here. No, there's still something here. There's a little left Okay, there. good. So um, the distiller is Piccadilly. Mm. Piccadilly. I, I was just there. How can you say that without doing the dilly? I know. Piccadilly. Have you ever... No, no, I'm sorry. Have you ever seen Piccadilly? Piccadilly Circus? No. Okay, it's basically like London's version of Times Square. It's so cute. Huh. Okay. It's so cute. So it's, this was, um, think of like Northern India, extreme temperatures, and that's where this was um, matured. Okay. So, um, Art by Sparkle, $5 super check. Oh, hi, hello. Thank you so much. And Mark Iyett, Um, I have some at home. When you come over next, remind me. Also, I love his little M inside of the circle because um, it looks like a little M&M. &M. And when it shows up on my maps, it looks like there's a little M&M &M wherever he is, and it's so stinking cute. 
Mine would do that, right? If I with the M. If they have a lowercase M, yeah. But it, usually you put in an uppercase M, so it's not that way. Uh, taste and sensibility, four entries for MC. Mm. That's so nice. Oh, I love that. Heck heck. Please hold. I love it. So okay, um, make time. sure if you guys are, like they're doing, if you are putting in entries, putting in donations, and you're using those other links that are in the description, make sure you tag Livewire Whiskey so that you get counted. We are also, if you let us know, we will read whatever you wrote in your little note. And Doug's was giveaway donation. Giveaway donation. Um, oh, I lost it. Hang on. That's I fine. don't know. The odds are great, though. Um, okay, so this is 114 proof. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Yep. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's non-chill filtered. Okay. Okay. I know. See, I'm saying this to Kathy Jo because she's going in blind. She yeah, I got nothing. nothing about nope. this. Um, and I feel like for, an, I don't, I didn't know what to expect from an Indian whiskey. This was not what I thought. I expected heavy baking spice. I guess, I mean, you know what that is? That's profiling. It's oh, profiling you. right there. I'm, I'm just you. saying it's, it is. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So we're going to play. I wish I didn't know. Yeah. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. So, guys, please play along with us. There, we're not. We don't have anybody to track the answers, so there's no prize for winning or losing. You just get to feel really good about yourself if you're doing well, and it's okay if you don't because you know I probably am gonna suck at this. It is a shit show. I'm keeping track of your answers and my. Do answers. not keep track of my answers. Oh, I am with my Grinch notebook. Parse Place says, Angel's Envy Rye was my favorite in a 12 rye blind. 12 rye blind? fantastic. Oh, two months long. Okay. Oh, Ooh. sure. Okay. I thought, I thought that was like two months ago. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. No, Reminds me of Honey and Grams. Yes. And maple syrup. Sean Peak is in for, please, via PayPal. Yes. And that is, um, love the new coin thing. Oh, I love the new coin. Me too. I'm glad it, Okay. Are we ready? I'm going to pull the first card. Are okay. we ready? Let's play a game. Yes, I'm ready. Here we go. First question is, wait, all right. Let's, let's do this. All right. <laughs> here we go. Hmm. Ray Tomlinson holds a special place in history. He sent the first email to himself in 1971. See, I'm not that old. Unfortunately, the message was dumb. What did Tomlinson's email say? A, is this thing on? B, QWERTY UIOP. Say that again? QWERTY UIOP. Oh, like just the top keys. Yep. Okay, got it. C, can you dig it? D, ground control to Major Tom. I have my finger over the answer. I don't like any of those answers. I'm going to guess that it said... D. I'm going to say D. Um, I'm going to say ground control to Major Tom. I don't know why. I'm going to do is this thing on. Is this thing on? Anybody else? A for me. Uh, yes. Bourbon Engineer says B. Pretty. Uh Oh, Parse Place says Teddy Grams. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, the answer, okay, Parse Place says B. Everybody's okay. saying B. Sean's thinking D. Okay. Okay. I'll read it one more time. Ray Tomlinson holds a special place in history. He sent the first email in 1971, but the message was dumb. Did it say A, is this thing on? B, QWERTY UIOP? C, can you dig it? Or D, control ground to Major Tom? Um, Mark says B. Okay. So far, none of us think it was C. Bourbon Bites is here. Hi! Hi! All right, the answer is, you guys are so smart, way smarter than me. It is B, QWERTY, UIOP. So that's zero points for either one of us. All right, we okay. said. Right. No, that's when you guessed. All this stuff no, I, I said A, I think. Oh, I said, is this thing on? Okay, thumb is over the answer. All right, here we go. Are we ready? Okay. Okay. What is Barbie's full name? Barbie? A. Barbara Brilliantine Anderson, B, Barbara Ann Smith, 
C, Barbara Millicent Roberts, or D, Barbara Jacqueline James. Okay, read those again. Barbara Brillantine Anderson, or Brillantine. Okay. Barbara Ann Smith. Okay. Barbara Millicent Roberts. Okay. Barbara Jacqueline James. I'm going to go C. I'm pretty sure it's C. Anyone else? Anyone, anyone, anyone. They're like, I don't freaking know Barbie's name. Oh, Jerry Black says Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. With two entries and a Christmas tree emoji, a present emoji, a Santa Claus emoji, and a my dream job emoji. All the emojis. Okay, so we get some B's and some C's. Okay. Going back to the Indian whiskey because frick, it's good. It is good. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Parks Place says pick or pass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I also get, I get a little bit of tobacco on that, I was thinking but it's too. very slight. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. It's there on the finish kind of comes at the back end on you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's your answer? The answer is C, Barbara Millicent Roberts. Okay. I feel like they didn't, um, or I feel like they published these before the Barbie movie came out. Uh, you think? Yeah. All right. One for each of us. Good Lord. Okay. Oh, I'm, the Grinch is keeping track. Look, he's back. It says right Freaking across his Grinch. butt. Look right across his butt. It's, it's adorable. It's, I'm back. Sean says zero for two. Dang. I feel that. Okay. This, um, also. Answer me this. Do you get baking spice? I mean, when you like, said I was like expecting a, this to be very heavy baking spice, I was like, it kind of is. I, I don't know my baking spices very well. So I'm going to say like clovish, clove, nutmeg. Yeah, sure. so, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, clove. All right. Next question. Ready? Okay, these, we're getting some dumb ones. <laughs> Want to dazzle friends with pointless information. That's what we're doing here. Tell them the sleeve on the outside. Okay. So the sleeve on the outside of your coffee cup mm -hmm. has a name. Oh, yes. I've seen Maid of Honor. What is it called? A. Glasses. A. Kennekin. B. Zarf. D. Ratoon. Or D. Slide. Kanakin, Zarf, Ratoon, or Slide? None of those were in Maid of Honor. Uh, just Brazo, what the hell are you doing here? Hey. We're drinking Indian whiskey and playing a game. That game. That's the game. Okay, we got some B's and D's and A's. I'll read it one more time. The outside of a coffee cup has a sleeve. What is the name of it? A, Kanakin, B, Zarf, C, Ratoon, or D, Slide? We have at least one of every answer on the screen. Perfect. I'm going to go with B, Zarf, because that sounds ridiculous. And if I'm going to be wrong, I'm going to be wrong. Okay. I, I, I feel like it should be Slide, but I, I have to... I'm going to say Kanakin. Okay. Because that just sounds fun. Coffee Kanakin. Coffee Kinnikin. El Camino coffee Mas Kinnikin. Largo Brewing. Coffee condoms for safe sips. I just call it a sleeve. Okay, the answer is B, Zarf. Nuh uh. It is. Oh, that is Zarf. Oh, that's good. Okay. All right. Holy moly, guys. Okay. All right, answer's covered. Here we go. According to a 2012 survey, which common office handle is the dirtiest of all? Wait, say that again. According to a 2012 survey, which common office handle is the dirtiest of all? I love these things. Office handle. Okay. Okay. A, microwave door handle. B, refrigerator door handle. C, front door handle. D, drawers to the office copier. Okay, say it one more time. So, so microwave door, uh -huh. refrigerator door, front door, or drawers to the office copier. Which one is the dirtiest? I feel like it's a front door. 
I, I'm going to go with front door. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Yeah. But wait, there's a lot of temperatures. I Wait, I regress. I'm going to say. But inside or outside? I'm going to say fridge, mm -hmm. actually. Fridge. Okay, so we have a lot of answers. We got C, A. We got fridge. We got A. Okay, what is that? Okay, the answer is A, microwave. Oh! Urban Engineer Art by Sparkle. Congratulations. Yay! Two of us, whammies. Some people know their germs. Goose eggs. I think I would, being so, an occupational hazard and everything. So on this injury, Drew. Yes. Now I'm curious. I want to try the Tinny. What was the one before this? Trini. Trini. I want to try that because I, like I said, I wanted to know nothing about it, so I didn't watch any of the stuff or reading this stuff there was so much that came up with trini yeah that now i'm gonna have to go back and read it but i can, i don't think i don't think you can still get it i haven't looked i don't know but this is this is surprisingly good yeah yeah i mean it has those maritime like saltiness notes on the palette too and honestly i'm that fermented fruit mm -hmm. it's 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 there yes uh, Juan says, good night, y'all. I got to get up at 4 a.m. Oh, Juan, oh, go to bed. Night. Have a good one. Good night. Thank you for stopping in. Did you hear me? Yeah. Nope. Have a good one. Have a good, you sound like me. <laughs> it's a me rubbing off on her. Leaving on 4 -oh. Cheers, y'all. Good night. Bye, friend. Bourbon engineer, thank you for stopping in. Oh, All right. And we have two from... Michael S., thank you for being awesome. Aw, Michael S., thank you. Thank you for the the, uh, the super chat. I love it so much. All right, my turn? Yes. All right, here we go. You guys ready? I'm ready. Oh, got it. Finger over it. Covered. In France, it's considered good luck if... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> A, your left foot steps in dog poo... B, you spill your tea all over your pants. C, you fall asleep on the toilet. Or D, a bee flies into your ear. One more time. It's good luck in France if your left foot steps in dog poo. B, you spill tea all over your pants. C, you fall asleep on the toilet. Or D, a bee flies in your ear. I'm going to go with B. You spill tea all over your lap. Oh, um, ah, that's a bad answer, though. It, I, it's too late. I already locked it you in. You did. You locked it in. The French I'm, are coffee people. I'm going to say if you step in dog poo. Okay. It's so out there. I'm going to go with A. How would the know. bee fly into your... I mean, most people don't have long hair, I guess. There's that. I mean, maybe that's why it's good luck. It's like they got to work for it. Yeah. They got to be like that ear. Yeah. That ear right there. The answer is wine. Right. Yeah. yeah. Please be C, says <laughs> Jerry Black. <laughs> Do you think it's the only one you can't control? That's actually a really good point. All right. We got some stuffs. Um, what did you guess? I guessed uh, poo. A. Oh, yes. You guessed A. Okay, yeah. Has anybody else had any of the injury? Any of them at all? I'm curious because I want your thoughts because this is my first. Or any Indian whiskey yeah. at all. All right, the answer is A. Yay! If your left foot steps in the dog poo. There we go. I don't know why I'm excited about dog poo, but I'm excited about dog poo. True. Mrs. Independent Joe. Hi. Cheers. How are you doing? I'm so glad you're here. You want to play our game and drink some? Oh my gosh, I have hiccups. What are you doing over there? I don't there? get those. I just realized my feed disappeared. Okay, Sean has not had Indian whiskey yet. I'm doing the old lady looking over the glasses thing. Okay, we all know okay. the rule. I only get three hiccups. And as I've gotten older, and then I'm gonna scare the I get, shit out of her. There's three. As I've gotten older, that's not the rule. There's more shit. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Okay. The ancient Egyptians used this as a cure for blindness. Okay, a cure for blindness. <gasps> Did it help? Do you have hiccups still? I don't know. Let's okay. see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey. Just don't yawn, says Taste and Sensibility. Did you just hiccup again? No. Oh, okay. 
All right. Haven't. A brains from mummies. Wait, or, as a wait, from wait, the question again. You're I got guess. scared. I'm so sorry. I got scared. But I'm okay. not hiccuping. A. So ancient Egyptians used this as a cure for blindness. Okay. A brains from mummies. B alligator skin. C snake venom and honey. Or C crushed pig eyeballs. You mean D? Oh yeah, D. <laughs> In my defense, crush starts with a C. <sighs> if you scare the sh out of her and you step in the right foot. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Okay, so I, cure for blindness. Brains from mummies, alligator skin, snake venom and honey, crushed pig eyeballs. C. I'm going to go with B, alligator skin. Okay, but before, there's you, alligator before you reveal, this is a very good point. Mummies don't have brains. That's a good point. If the answer is A, it's wrong. It's wrong. Good point. Um, I feel like I don't mm -mm. pick an answer. I, no, I, I I'm locked in. I'm going with alligator skin because there's hey. Oh wait, no, it's crocodiles on the Nile. Shoot, I, it's too late. I locked it in. I'm going to see. Are there alligators? Oh look at me, pinky up. Oh, so fancy. Are there? Hmm. Read it. Okay. It's okay. So the answer is D. Crushed pig eyeballs. That's you again. No way. No, I didn't say. I didn't say that. What'd you say? I said C. You said snake venom and honey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Then you don't get a point. I, I don't get a point. <laughs> wait, should have just gone with it. No, somebody. Wait. So the out. Egyptians thought if they took pig eyeballs and crushed them up, and then I don't know if you drank it. Or, I, I, or rubbed it on your eyeballs? I, 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 ew. Either way, ew. Drink <laughs> it, lick it, put it in your eyeballs, wear it as a mask. Either way, ew. Yeah, Sean Peek, same. Same. Sorry, <sighs> I didn't mean to. Good news, your hiccups are gone. They are. You scared the hiccup out of me. Mm. Um, thank you, Mike, for promoting. Um, Because, you know. Without all that support, we couldn't do this. I mean, yeah. Patreons do pretty good, but yeah. we like to get, we couldn't give away as much free shit. They also uh, used it as a topping for burgers and tacos. Ew, like. Park's Place. But ew. That's not right. <laughs> okay, they might have. Right. Do they have tacos? That doesn't seem right. That would, if they, if they had There's tacos, different size. They would have definitely lived longer. I mean, they were there a while. Tacos, but are tacos. I mean. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. You're My turn? Yep. All right. I love the fact we're not looking this. For an Indian whiskey, you need to try. I would seek out. See, I've heard. Is it Amrut? Amrut Narganga? Oh, I know I butchered that. I'm so sorry because no. I haven't heard of it. I don't know anything about Indian whiskey. But can you do the B? thing on it so I can come back to that. There's a new thing where we can mark stuff and come back when we want to see it because I want to check that out. It usually gives me a little like, hey, we saved that. Oh, there it is. Okay. Mark it created. Got it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All Ready? Right, cool. Thank you, Donald, because I, I do want to look that up. Mm -hmm. um, oh, over there. Okay. Uh, a rare condition called, I really hope I'm saying this wrong. It's a B O A N, but it's boanthropy or oh, boanthropy. I would say boanthropy. Boanthropy. Oh, you're probably right. Boanthropy. Okay. A rare condition called boanthropy causes people to dot dot dot. A. Good lord. Have bones like rubber. B. Be scared of plants. C. Only have one eyebrow. Or D, believe that they're a cow. I'm going to go with D. A rare condition called boanthropy causes people to A, have bones like rubber, B, be scared of plants, C, only have one eyebrow, or D, believe they're a cow. I'm going to go with D, believe they're a cow. And see, I know. And then they would bury them with it or mummify them with oh, it. That's just weird, man. Oh, that's so weird. I don't understand. 
don't, I don't okay. get this. I'm going to go with. Why not? We're going to go with D. Kay. Why not? D. Okay. Do you want to know why I went with D? Why'd you go with D? Because bovine. Bovine means cow. Oh. So bow on for P, right? And Sean Peake says D, weirdest answer. Yeah, same. same. Often ancients believed the essence from an animal's various parts would restore a faulty human part. That's why men would drink a tea made from dried and crushed bull, etc., etc. Et <laughs> you like that? Weirdest answer. Okay. The answer is we got some D's and some A's and some stuffs. It is D. It is, yay. Woo, weirdest answer. My wordology comes into play. Here's Adriana. She'd be so proud of me. Okay. Okay, so on this injury, Drew. God damn, I can't get past the fermented fruit. Mm -hmm. But they're melon. Yes. But there is a citrus, like almost like a mandarin orange. Okay. That is there. It doesn't, it's separate from the fermented fruit. It's just mandarin orange. Mr. Jiggs, you must know, man. Oh, my God. There we go. Happy oh holidays, God. everyone. Thank you, Mr. Jiggs, for the $20 super chat. That gets you some entries to win. Yes. Then we've got Parks Place. Very much enjoying this lovely entertainment tonight. Hope you both had a great Thanksgiving last Thank week. You. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I hope you all had great holidays. There's something about. Sorry. I don't you. Are we so close? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's something about holidays like A, some people get sad. Mm -hmm. B, some people get happy. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is no matter what your case is, I think it tends to be a time of reflection, mm -hmm. which yeah. good or bad can be amazing. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. And I have spent a few of those holidays alone and they're never bad. They're what you make. I was yeah, blessed. Nice. This has probably been the best Thanksgiving I ever had. And it wasn't even Thanksgiving. It wasn't. I had to do it the day after Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving was great because nobody came over. Thanksgiving was awesome. I was like, I get to chill and prep and hang out. Yeah. But my day after Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, yeah. I had like all my daughters, I had my grandkids, I had my mother-in-law. It was amazing. Did you guys do great stuff for Thanksgiving? I get three Thanksgiving meals. I do breakfast with sticky buns watching the Macy's Parade mm -hmm. at my parents' house. Then we, at my house, we do a Thanksgiving lunch at like one o'clock with all of my husband's side of the family, his sister, his grandparents, his parents. Um, and then we do dinner at my parents' house and it's like, it's orphans giving anybody who didn't have somewhere to go for Thanksgiving uh -huh. comes over. And so it's usually this great big, huge celebration with just elbow to elbow people. And it's wonderful. And my day is so full and I'm so exhausted by the end of it. And then on Friday I had my last football game. Um, and we won't get into that very much here cause I might start crying again, but, but it, it was, was awesome. It was beautiful. It was the best game ever. So it was amazing. So for me, um, in my past, I used to do an open house holiday, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, Christmas. You could show up during these hours mm -hmm. and have food with us. Or I, if you don't want to stay and you were, just wanted food, I'd make you a to-go thing. Now that we don't have children at home, they all grown up and moved away. How rude. I know. Um, I'm now doing that. So if people have nowhere to go, and I know you, and I let you into my house, mm -hmm. you know, and come in or I will package it up and send it home with you. And it's such a great feeling oh, to be yeah. able to like, I love to cook like three times a year. I cooked for many years and when then I was done. Mm -hmm. So having someone to cook for, for a reason. Anyway, sorry. No. Uh, oh, Whiskey Central. Oh. I mean, Sorry. Okay, next one. Do it. Ooh, this one's a long one. Okay. In 2016, a team of scientific researchers totally messed up and accidentally killed Ming, the world's oldest clam. 
Wait, they killed the world's oldest, oldest clam, clam named Ming in 20, or 2006. There's a clam yeah. named Ming? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, not anymore. <laughs> Ironically, they were trying to determine Ming's age. The mollusk was believed to be, A, 143 years old, B, 234 years old, C, 507 years old, or D, 600 years old. So the answers are 143, 234, 507, 600. How old was the clam when they accidentally killed it? C. You're going to go with 507? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go with 230. Uh, no, I'm going to go with 600. I'm going to go with D. That sounds like an old ass clam. I like it. Okay. We got we got the C's and the B's and the Sean's with me, D. Where's the other? Oh. El Camino says just saw it on another podcast. <gasps> okay. So oh, should we verify well, that crap. he was right? Should we do it? Should we do it? Should we do it? Do it. The answer is C, 507 years old. Did you watch that podcast too? Mm, nope. Oh, you got a point. All right. Was the clam tender or tough? That's a good question. All right, here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, Taste and Sensibility, thank you for that $20 super chat. Are you ready to rumble? I like it. Yeah, uh, as old as it will ever be. Yeah. I, I am. I might need more Indian whiskey, so let's work on that. Okay. Hang on. You've got one up here. Oh, it's Indian. It's, it's yeah, I know. There's another one up here. It's not injury, but it's Indian. We have Indian it. whiskey. Up oh my yep. God! Why? Why? Okay, here. It's this is how good. I don't. This think. is how it goes off the rails, guys. It's fine. I'm not gonna fall. I know about this one because I had it last year. Um, this is the Paul John Christmas Edition 2021. It's not bad. It's Indian. Yeah. Pretty sure, anyway. Um. All right. Let's see. Paul. There we go. Doll Rance. Uh. This is the 2021 Christmas. I bought this for Will, but I never tasted it. The Christmas edition of John Paul. It is an Indian single malt. Uh, 2021. It is, do the math. 46%. That's 92. Okay. I'm yeah. making sure. 92%. 92 proof. Or, yeah, 92 proof. Sorry. Please, not 92%. Oh, okay, this one right there, 90 proof. Okay, okay good. Um, yeah, give me a shit. This is how workman's cock claims sir. Yeah. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell, <laughs> Kathy Joe says, no. Tommy D. Not the first Wait. time I've stood on the stool to get Tommy something D. from up there. Are ready? Yes. Oh, oh that's, that's nice. nice. That's nice. During, okay. During our Texas whiskey flight, I stood on a stool to go up there and get the Balcones finished in tequila casks. Because so I was like, I know I like this one. All right. Hey, William, we're drinking your whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> My glasses. She's young and spry. If you did it, Michelle might break a hip. That's, That's coming probably. from a guy with two replaced hips, but not from falling. <laughs> it's probably true. I might break a hip. <laughs> it could happen. Whoop. All right. So I've been eyeing the Paul John 2022 ever since it first hit the shelves last year. Um, I must put you one. The tube is so freaking. I haven't bought I it yet, but the tube is gorgeous. I, I almost bought you one because I, was, I saw the tube, but I'm like, Kathy Joe would oh, love that. Okay. It's, it's my first, like, oh, I want this because the label's pretty. It's not your first. Last year it was. No, saying you want something because it's pretty. Oh, no. no. With the label. <laughs> She's like, it might be shit whiskey, but the label's pretty. The label's pretty. Okay. All right. Let's do this real quick before we get into a new. So. This one's like a caramel. Apple. Not even close. No, it's not even close at all. Oh, William's watching. He's in there. He's watching me drink this whiskey. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's my fault. I stood up there and got it. Okay. Donald Rance is still saying, Paul John, I'm not avoiding you. I just don't know how to say the word. Mithuna? Mithuna. Is a must buy. Expensive though. Tell Will. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, this is nothing like that one. No, but I... It's very different. Ooh, read the, read, 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 hang Wait. on, I'm just going to highlight. Here you go. Faz. Faz? Faz. Cheers, all women and whiskeys. I bought the injury Drew last week. It is still a little closed off and yet a little fast maturity character. Lots of oak, but not very complex. I hope it opens up. Wow, really? That wasn't my experience. 
I mean, now I'm excited for it to open up. Yeah. Maybe I'm novice. Maybe. I mean, we've all known that. I mean, it's my first Indian whiskey. But now I'm excited. Yeah. Don't touch it. Don't drink it. All right, I won't. No, it's, I'm just kidding. I usually don't. I'm just kidding. You know you can drink. Oh, what I is don't. Michelle drinking? Nothing. 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 It was my fault. But Please. wow. You get a lot more a lot more Ooh. earth on this one. I on just the went nose. Back to it it's, a little, it's a little smoky. William, you should crack the backbone American malt behind you. That's not even close to what well it is a malt. Okay, I will. But I'll first I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'll bring it down. Oh, it has 131 proof. My gosh, are you trying to kill us? Well, first we're gonna do this. Yeah, we're gonna do this first. I got some uh, a lot earthier mm -hmm. on this. 2021. Okay. See, I don't mind this one. It's not as good as injury. I think I like the injury better, yeah. but they're so different. Mm -hmm. They're so different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me that bottle back, please. With this with the John Paul? Yeah, Paul John. What did I say? John Paul? Well, shit. He's somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely someone else. <laughs> I think... I think this has a bitter yeah. mid palette that yeah. I don't care for. Yeah, that's very true. I don't care for the mid palette on this one. Um, women of whiskeys. I was prepared to buy a bottle of Kamet. Wow, you guys are giving me words. I feel like I'm butchering. But you can say the next Distilled one. Distilled at Piccadilly. Piccadilly. And blended by. Oh, okay. Blended oh. by Master Blender Nancy. Okay. Shame that the stock of that vanished. Well, oh. so you're saying that Nancy did this blend that I would love, and I can't have it. That's great knowledge. <laughs> Hand me that salt no, shaker. I got actually, poured in your wound. No, um, I actually have never. Nancy and I have chatted a few times, and I've tried to follow her. I did not know that. That is great. Yeah. Okay. Do the B thing. Do the. Do the clip that so I can go okay, back and I look got at the that. Marker. MC must be grabbing for the international whiskey section of the bar. Top left area? Yes. Oh, Will. It's okay. Yes. It's okay. It's fine. Mm. All right. I I don't like that bitter mid palette on yeah. that. Just saying. All right. Is it your turn or my turn to pull a card? Um, I will. I'm right here. Okay. Creepy insect fact. How long is the leg span of the Goliath bird eater spider? The Goliath bird eater spider? How long is the leg mm, span? No, thank you. Okay. A, 9 inches. B, 11 inches. C, 13 inches. Or D, 16 inches. I think it's 11. I think uh, William, come shoot it with your 9 mil. 9, 11, 13, 16. Oh, a bird eater? You're going on 45. 9. C. I'm going to go with 13. C. I'm going to go with C. 13. Okay. Oh, we got some guesses going on. C, D, 11, 30 centimeters or so. A. I just lick your glass. Yes. Oh, my. We have more. Oh, look at all the guesses are all over the board. I know. Nobody knows. Okay, what's the answer? The answer is B, 11. Oh. That was me. I got 11. Yay, I am back on that. I'm not going to lie. Oops. I'm a little disappointed with the bird eater thing, but yeah, 11 inches. F that. So this is eight and a half by 11. So it's this wide. Oh, God. No. Nope. 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 If it's, if it's one, I'm like, that's a massive spider. Come get it. You're so cute. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, give me those scissors. What are you opening? Oh, the backbone? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I thought we were doing Indian whiskey. What the hell? Let's have to open this, so we'll open it at the oh, end. What the hell? I'll get it ready to go. Right, Sean? I know some are harmless, but they're freaking creepy. They're huge. All right. It's my turns. All right. Cuddle your arachnid, LOL. 
No, Donald, not cuddly. I mean, it could probably put its arm around me, but ew. All right. Here we go. Next question. Who's ready? Good luck not feeling a millipede as it moves across your ankle. <sighs> the largest number of legs ever found on a millipede is... Biggest number of legs. Okay. okay. A, 750. B, 1,000. C, 1,200. Or D, 1,300. I'm going to say 1,000. Because that means Millie. I'm I'm going to go B. I'm going to go B. First place, I'm going to go with you. I'm going to say B. Which is like 800, right? Uh, B was 1,000. Oh, okay, so same. What was the name again? Um, it is the largest number of legs on a millipede. We got all, they're all over the board. We got B, C, D, all this stuff. Nobody wants to go with 800 though? Okay. This one's ready. I ready for love it. that injury, Drew. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for one that I hate. I love it. I love it. Okay, what is it? Okay, the answer is A, 750. Dang it. I don't think anybody, did anybody guess A? Not a one. No, no one guessed A. We all yeah, thought those maybe. millipedes were like, because they're creepy as hell. I hate them. You hate them? I hate them. I hate millipedes and centipedes. You want to hear a funny story? And earwigs. Oh, earwigs are the worst. Yeah. Funny story about a millipede. Is it funny? No. Okay, just checking. It's probably random. I just want to bring people's shit about There's only 27 in the chat. Fuck it. Let's tell the story. Oh, my God. <laughs> Soon to be 22. Oh, I'm telling you. I was young. I was like first grade. I'm scared of every bug. If it's this big, I'm scared. What's that big? Bowling? I'm terrified. Yes. Oh, that's so fun. You Actually, I played with rollerblades. Okay. I woke my mom up from a nap. I said, there's a big, huge bug. She's like, kill it with a shoe. And I'll never forget this because it's stuck in my mind. She's like, I wear a size four youth shoe. Because I was a little girl. I was little. And she's like, kill it. She comes downstairs. The millipede is longer than the shoe. And I'm crying. I'm bawling, trying to. And so she's like, oh shit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it happens. It's fine. Oh my gosh. And um, I'm out. Same area. Same. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck. Poopy yuck. yuck. Thanks. All right, Mike, you're not lying. Thank you for that. Okay. Please stop it, so Wait, I'm not Adriana. I'm worried about accidental stabbings. It's not the purposeful it ones here. that we're doing here. Mullum says, oh, boy, why are we scamming for three entries? Mullum, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in forever. Actually, it's, good job because uh, the odds are good. It's been like 26 hours it's since fine. I saw Mullum last. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. Mustard is great. Ellie's best mate. Yawning and pawing, keeping the audience awing. Sleeping on set while viewers make a bet. Whiskey dogs, crushed eye of hogs, Indian sips, trivia quips. Oh my gosh. Mom, so you good. come up with the so best good. ones. I challenge you guys to even halfway go against Mom. We should do lose. like a Mom versus chat. Mom has the best. Like an open night poetry. Chat night. notes. Yeah, it's true. Like he does these little super it's chats, true. like PayPal or Venmo. I don't know which one. I think it's PayPal. And holy crap, his they're on point. All right. What are what'd you just open? You opened what? Will told us to, William Davilar said oh. you know what it was? He tried to get us to stop drinking his whiskey. Oh yeah. That's why he told us to open that. That's true. That's true. Malum, um tell Elise I'm very sorry and we'll we'll have to do a makeup play with mustard day, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Thrasher, $10 super chat. Oh, yeah. Wiener cheers, ladies. Where can I get one of those challenge coins? On our website. Womenofwhiskeys.com. Go to womenofwhiskeys.com. Um, we literally are selling them like at no profit. Um, they're amazing, but they're go check them out. You want to see them? Yeah, show them. There. Look at them. 
They're the cutest things ever. I love them. Uh, what are we drinking? Okay. Uh, Will said open. Backbone American Single Malt. This is, oh, I got glasses on. There's all kinds of stuff on this label. All right, here we go. This is the Backbone Express, selected by Ben, Brad, Dustin, and Skip. Barrel Outlaws. Barrel Outlaws. They did a great job with those labels. I'm going to show you the front, and then I'm going to show you the back. It is an American Single Malt Backbones American Single Malt. I don't know that I've seen Backbone do a single malt before. So that is exciting. Okay, hang on. Let me pull a little water in this. Now we're going to fresh out. crack this. She just cut it. Here we go. Oh, gosh. Wow. It's a thing. Here we go. Ready? Ooh. Oh, yes. That was worth it. That was, that was work. Woo. <laughs> Holy oh man. my gosh, Aaron. Threw my mustard coin across the bar as soon as I opened the back. I'm sure she loved that. Thank you. I'll let her know. <laughs> Holy moly. One All time. Right. You, you throw your dog off the school one night. One time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need some water to rinse oh, the shit. chefs. Okay, oh. please hold. Okay. So we got a new uh, bar sink. And we all know we have to wash our glasses and things at night now. So now we're recycling. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's give this Tell a shot. In it to win it. Two uh, right there. In it to win it. Good luck. Women of Whiskey's Emru. Oh, my gosh. You and these Port words. Nova. It is another for the list. I informed William about Emru. Kata hum hum. God dang it. Donald, I thought you liked me. No, actually, I appreciate this. Um, well worth the money. See, I got to check out this Indian whiskey thing because I'm thinking I like the general vibe. Okay, you ready for this one? Yes. Don't piss off a skunk that's hanging around your backyard. If it decides to aim and fire, it'll be possible to outrun. Impossible, sorry. It'll be impossible to outrun. A skunk can shoot liquid from its anal glands at a distance of up to, you ready? Mm -hmm. A, 15 feet, B, 6 feet, C, 32 feet, or D, 18 feet. Read your feet again. 15, 6, 32, or 18. I think it's, I think it's 15. I just sound right. 15, 32. 6 or 18. I have to go 18. Okay. Only because so, you didn't say 18. A couple years ago, no, like a year and a half ago, um, we had it was Snake River Stampede Week. We're at the rodeo until midnight every night. Okay. We're exhausted by the end of the day. We came home. All of a sudden, Oakley, Tim's little, like, Aussie healer mix, Cowed was up. taken off at nothing. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then she ran behind the shop, and then she was barking. And I was like, dude, what the hell? She came back about five minutes later, and she came running in the house. And as she passed us, because we were standing in the doorway... She tipped her head down and started rubbing with her head along the carpet. And I was like, no. And we grabbed her and threw her outside and did a whole, like I just handed him the dog shampoo and the vinegar and the peroxide and all the things. And he took care of it. But um, yeah, we have been skunked in the last recent time. That is so ethanol on the nose. It's not even funny. We have a couple answers of D 18 feet. We have an 18 feet sparkles with me with the a 15 feet. So this is the, uh, as far as I know, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think Backbone has done a single malt that I know of before this. I'm sorry, I, I diverted, but I'm excited because the nose is ethanol. I want to see if the palate is too. Well, it's 131 proof, so that tracks. But it's it's ethanol. It's yeah. not like, it's, okay, I'm going to It's not just hot. It comes up the back like hot, like Chinese hot mustard does. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you know how Chinese hot mustard yeah. like comes up the top of your nostril? Mm hmm. hmm. Okay. Actually, I would say Chinese notes, Chinese, all the stuffs. The answer is A, 15 feet. Ah, oh, good job. That's neat. And sparkle. 
Yay for us. So that backbone, I feel like it's it's so hot that it's hard to pull the notes out. But you definitely get the mossy yet fruity kind of. I got the same one. I know, but you're not drinking it. Yes, so. I am. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> uh, Dharma says, uh, women of whiskey, sorry, eh, but it's easier to get Indian whiskey in Canada. I would agree than we do. I think that's sorry, and eh. What did I say? Sorry, eh. What did I say? Sorry, eh. Eh. Sorry, that's eh. That's American, eh. <laughs> it's fine, eh. They're expanding their palates. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of things we haven't tried. Mm -hmm. You guys are along for the ride. Like, I am not going to be a professional. I'm going to drink this shit and tell you how I feel about it. This, I want to say, Backbone did a single malt. Yay. I'm going to say, Backbone did a single malt. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. It's. Okay, we're going to do one more. I'm not going to lie. It needs to open up. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah, give it a week. It's got some very layered flavors. I want to see if it opens up before the ethanol doesn't punch me in the face. Hey, boys, if you want to bring us dogs, we'll treat you for this bottle. You giving away the bottles already? Okay. Next one. Are we ready? Yes. Oh, that's not good for you. You Can can't read Let's that. just switch that shit up because that's a long yeah, one. No. That's a long one. And it's a lot of hard to pronounce words. Okay. That's a long one. They're like a page long. Nobody wants that shit, right? Ah, there we that go. Looks short. Okay. I don't know what it says, but it looks short. Could be All right, here we go. In which activity do you have the greatest chance of dying? Ooh, good. Okay, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Your greatest chance of dying would be A, a triathlon, B, a marathon, C, Driving 100 miles in a car or D, flying 1,000 miles in a commercial airplane in the United States? C, driving 100 miles in a car. Locking it in. Okay. You got C. Although I would definitely die in a triathlon. You know, I, I, think, saw, I think any of these would pertain to me, but I'm going to go with C. I saw something the other day that said, I know a shark can outswim me. But I can outrun a shark. So if it came down to a triathlon, it would come down to who's the better biker. <laughs> Believe it or not, me, unathletic, was in charge of triathlons for a while. Those who can't do teach, I get it. We actually had a doctor pass away doing a triathlon. He had a heart attack during swimming. So was your answer A? No, my answer was I mean, if you can leg C. cramps too. C. That could be a thing. Uh, look, we got a lot of C's. Yeah. We got a lot of C's. Everybody says C. Everybody mm. says C. Let's look. Are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. It's A. It's a triathlon. Triathlon. You should have locked in A. I saw it happen. You did. I didn't say it. You should have done it. All right. I'm thinking leg cramps while swimming. I mean, I think that's it. I mean, are there sharks? sharks? <laughs> yes. But don't worry. You can outrun them. Oh, my God. Oh, Bailey. It's that time already. It's our little hood rat doing hood rat things. Oh, my God. It's 10, 12. Look. We got, like, two more two more questions, and then we got to do all the giveaways. Okay, you want this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did make a deal. Hi, darling. She's cold. Hi, good girl. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mustard has her Christmas collar on. You can't see it because it's too far away. Just trust me. It's got poinsettias all over it. All right. It's so cute. Hi, darling. So we're going to do two more questions. Then we are going to do giveaways. Oh, we have had coming in strong. Oh, my God. Everybody drink. Cheers. Dog yawns. Okay. Hey, lover. Ooh, something mm -hmm. smells good. You want to smell okay, this? Okay, I'm going to, I really want to switch that it's out for that bad. injury. I'm loving that injury, Drew. It, oh, it's your toast, I think, is what she's smelling. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Wait, I thought I had it in the class. Did I not? Guess not. Okay. You so did. It's, did. Oh, it's back there. Oh. What is it? Ooh. Yep. All right. We're going to go back to the injury. Okay. Here's the thing. All right. So we're going to do uh, two more questions. 
Okay. And I'm not going to lie. Oh, she smells that toast. I'm not going to lie. We have a uh, a smaller entry than usual, which is fine. We do this to give shit away. Oh my gosh, mustard. So the odds are good, but we are going to cut it off. After our two questions, we're going to do the pick it or pass it giveaway. Uh, you get to pick a box. If you like it, you can keep it. If you don't like it, you get one more chance. Anyone is a patron, after we're done with that, guest play Patreon Plinko. So, two more two questions. Behind. Okay, so this question. Wait, what was I saying? Patreon Plinko. Nope. And um, we're going to do two more questions, and then we're going to do the drawing. Two more questions, yeah. I'm going to do the drawing. Okay. All right. Okay. So, no, it's not Malum. We don't have any more horizontally sliced bread. Okay, but Malum, I, I'm not going to lie. He's been watching me. I, I have been eating some bread. It's the little thin sliced breads with butter because they're nummy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, in a shrimp's body, where is its heart? A, its head. B, its chest. C, its tail. D, it doesn't even have one. Oh, For the fuck of it, I have to go with D. Doesn't Everybody, have ring. we got a duck. Oh, I'm gonna say chest, but I feel like that's not right because otherwise it wouldn't be an answer. But I'm, I'm in with chest. Park's place. Every now and then, you just gotta reset, and it's like water. Is that not water? Basically, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's water. Yeah. <laughs> pretty sure it's water. Hi, belly boo. Hi. How are you? She's a good rat. A says Sean Peak. Uh, only the beer, best beer flavored water in the home. <laughs> eh, yeah. Okay, Miss I don't think he's pumpkin, listening now to take care. That's and C, I'm so glad you okay. were here. Thank uh, you. I win something. I'm in on three. Doesn't fit rules. Jerry Black Livewire. Okay. Okay. M, love you. So everybody, everybody says A for head. A for head? Mm hmm Everybody's saying A, the heart is in the head. Okay. And the answer is A. It's in the head. All right. Well, we both lose that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. One more for you. Ready? Mm-hmm. That's too long. She's picking my own answer. That's my too own long. Questions. Why are you looking? I'm, I'm covering the answer when I look. That's too long. Give me the freaking deck. That's too I'm long. just going to pull a random card. Give That's me good. Me. No. Random. What was that last one? It was something about hair. I don't know. Oh, sure it is. Interesting. What? Huh. Okay. Huh. That's a weird one. All right. Are you sure? Yes. Wait, do I need to do that one? No, it's okay. I already put it away. Hmm. All right. I have oh, one. Mr. Young. Mm-hmm. My, oh, I have a little bit in this one. I was gonna pour some of that. Will you pour me some while I do this? Mullen says he's drinking Frey Ranch Fry from us and Blue Run High Right. Time for Yon's fill those glasses. All right, yeah, fill your glasses. Yeah, we got top like, it off. All right, here we go. Chris Nicholson, Chris Nicholson, is an award-winning magician who holds the world record for world record for. Oh. Donald Rand. I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. I love that. My favorite is hibiscus with peach, but I buy the peach nectar and add it with ginger. Yes, it's nummy. Okay, I'm um, sorry. Okamino Maslago Brewing says, Ha, you guys are getting snowed on on Friday. This pleases me. Maybe even Thursday. Maybe Thursday. I'm so excited. I was so mad. He was texting off us on Thanksgiving trying to figure out why we didn't have snow. I was pissed. Mm, F you. Huh. Okay, here we go. Glasses. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. You guys ready? All right. Uh, Chris Nicholson is an award-winning magician who holds a record for A, unhooking 20 bras in one minute. B, nailing 30 consecutive beer pong shots in one minute. C, being kicked in the you know what's 140 times in one minute, or D, 
smoking 22 cigarettes in one minute. I'll read that again. World record four, unhooking 20 bras in one minute. B, nailing 30 consecutive beer pong shots in one minute. C, being kicked in the hoof 140 times in one minute. Or smoking 22 cigarettes in one minute. I'm going to go with C. You're going with C? I'm going to go with C, the kicking in the... In the... What's it? Hoosh, hoosh, hoosh. I'm mm-hmm. going to go with... I'm going to go with C. I'm going to go with... Okay. Oh, is that the same thing you said? Yep, that's okay, Being though. Being kicked in the hoo-ha. Okay, that's okay, though. All right. Hoo-ha. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm so tired. You haven't done anything all day. We got some A's. <laughs> William says, hoping for A's. <laughs> Michael S says, A, my pubescent hero. <laughs> so here's why I'm not going with A. I just watched a video on TikTok the other day. Don't give it up yet. Okay, go ahead. It's fine. And there were like a hundred women lined up, all with their bras exposed. And this guy just went through them and click, 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 and undid all of them. So that's it can't be that. Yeah, Aaron says 20 doesn't seem that It difficult. really doesn't. It really doesn't. Oh, Aaron, I mean. I feel like bro. I could undo 20 bras in one minute. Like, it just. I, I can't. Oh, that's yeah. dexterity. And he was one-handed, right too. That was the other thing. The guy was doing it one-handed. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not A. I All right. It. Let's look at the answer. My father-in-law oh, yes. seems to think it was, though. All right. I still can't do one, says Mom. It's fine. Me neither. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, I've only tried it myself, but. They're weird. All right. And the answer is A. Nuh-uh. I'm doing 20 bras in one minute. Well, I don't think he's the world record holder oh, well. anymore. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, there okay. we go. I'm wrong. All right. I still won five to four. Check it in the Grinch butt book. What the hell? All right. What the hell? We need our number randomizer. Sorry, Mustard. I know. So here's the thing. To We're going to cut off now our giveaway. For pick it or pass it. What that means is, those of you in are in. That means until the end of this, you have an opportunity to play Patreon Plinko. Any Patreon at the end of this, if you are four dollars or above, you get the opportunity to be in the mix to play Patreon Plinko. But let's play pick it or pass it. Good lord. Um, any pour something. I'm going to pour this Indian whiskey. This is pretty good. for you. Oh, thank you. That injury. Holy moly. This is the record for getting kicked in the whoops are still over. Whoops. Yep. Yes. Um, okay. Do we need to set this up, Mom? I will call the Guinness <laughs> Book. And we'll sure I will binary. line up your exes. <laughs> and we will figure this shit out. Let's do that. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Here we go. Randomizer. 30. 30 is the number. So far, everything that I've tried tonight, if you guys were keeping track, because I wasn't, um, the injury. Favorite. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Um, Donald, I'm going to try, because I tried another Indian. I liked it. Eh. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I am going to, William, I'm sure, has screenshotted and wrote it all down, all the stuff. So we did the stuff. I would love to do an Indian flight. It would if, be fun. If we could somehow get our hands on all this, I'd would love to do an Indian flight because yeah. I did not understand Indian whiskey. Well, it's not me, just someone I know. <laughs> so, Donald, thank you for all your input. Oh, oh there's one. the on Everybody drinks. Uh, where are we at? Uh, Mike, 34 entries. All right. I did it. It was 30. 30 was the number. So we're... He's randomizing now. Yep. I'm just catching up because I'm blind and I'm trying to see this shit. Are you cleaning your Grinch feet? I'm in public? I guess. Scott Pixley, fifth quarter tailgate oh, is the winner. Congrats All right, Scott, are you here? If you're here, make some noise. Ah, oh, he says, ha! Okay, you get to pick one through six. 
live wire. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't drank in a while. Okay. Look at this. Ellie doesn't look happy. She really doesn't. She looks terrified. Yeah. Okay. Four. Here we go. Please hold. She feels hot. I have to lean. Okay. Here we go. Nope. No, no, no. Okay. Oh. Ooh, okay. It is Joseph Magnus triple cask finish. Wait. Here we go. You got this. This one. Or you or. can pass and try again. Yes. Holy hell. It's right there. It's hanging out. He says, I'll take it. Okay. Woo, woo. All right, Scott, we will make sure that someone gets that to you. Okay. Then we have 32. All right, she's already heading over. I know. She knows. She's like, we're getting ready, and I don't want to be thrown by Kathy Joe. One time. Only loves me here and there. Here we go. 21. Oh, you just bought one, Mullen? Nice. 21. Who's our next victim? Okay. I think I would have to go back and rewatch this. Sounds like some stuff's going on with Donald. Love you, Donald. Okay. No mustard. You cannot hey, lay on the here. mouse. Come here. Come here. Okay, come here. I have to know how heavy is Ellie? Does she is four pounds, two ounces? Mm -hmm. And she is a badass. Oh, gone. Not really. She really she thinks she is. But she's four pounds. What was the number? Oh, it was 21. Thank you, mm -hmm. Mike. Another yawn. Uh she was sleeping before I grabbed her. Sorry. Sorry. Are you hot? You seem like you're warm. I like it's negative weight. They just hold her so she doesn't float away. Like a helium okay. balloon. We have to take this off. She seems so cold. I know we have to take her out of the cold, but she seems really hot. Okay. Ha. Oh, not again. Hey, Richie Z is here. Oh, hi. Richie, let me toast you with my new favorite Indian whiskey. <laughs> I don't know a lot of Indian whiskey, but cheers. It's Shayla. Shayla, are you here? Are you here? I don't know that she is. Her she phone died and then come. she was on her laptop. Are you still morning. here? Anyway, Richie, Indian whiskey. I didn't know I loved it. We're doing injury drew. If you get a chance, you have to try it. Um, hand me that glass on the other side of your tumble. This, this mustard keeps yawning. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm in a deficit. There we go. All right. Aw. Thanks, Richie's. She said one. Okay, one. That's you. That's me. Are we ready? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, not a yawn. Oh. Okay. We have a Women of Whiskey's Tumblr, but Shayla, if you think there's something better, you can try again, or you can just take this. It's up to you. You know, having that Paul John again after that, um, that backbone? It's still no, good. Mom. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. you know what I made the Wait, other day. Wait, Richie, see what brand? What is that? She said three, three. Okay, okay. Here we go. Ready? Let's do it again. Holy moly, Sheila, you're making me lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Wait, isn't there like Can an you 80s? Uh, lean back. Lean back. Okay, here we go. Dun 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 dun. It's a, a Stozel. It is a Women of Whiskey Stozel nosing glass. That That's is what nice. you're eating. That's what I'm going to send you. Sheila, now that we are mobile, please tell me where to send that, okay? I will send you a Stozel glass. You just leave it there. Yeah, we're going to we'll leave it right there. there. Okay. Mom Yay. says best glass. Oh, I should probably I get... actually love that glass. I fought Kathy Jo for that glass because I loved it so well, much. In in our defense, we were talking apples and yes, it was expensive. And basketballs. It, it was expensive. We're not, it's literally, we're probably taking no, a loss. The screenshots that we were sending back and forth to each other were wrong. That was the big problem with no, the text message stream. No, we were going between that and the Irish. Uh anyway, it doesn't oh, matter. Yeah, that too. Yeah. So either way. Okay. Yay. 
She says, uh, okay, Livor says her phone died. She says, yes, thank you, ladies. Yay. Awesome. Are we getting ready to play some shit? I oh, think so. Shit. Okay, let all me right. pull up the thing. Do we have any new patrons I missed? I uh, they're all so. accounted for. All right, we got it. Okay. Let's play some. If you are a $4 or above any kind of paid Patreon of our show, Thank you so much for the support. Mm -hmm. Now's your chance to win some shit. Put in hashtag Plinko. Hashtag Plinko. All right, now don't touch the mouse. I am not touching the Patreon Plinko. It's a game play. With whiskey in our hands. We need your day. Support the show. that first that yeah, makes sense yes yes what okay give it away so everybody that just said hashtag plinko please remember these are the <laughs> optional prizes. okay wait Real, story time was asking for the record those of you that are new this came from a <laughs> great patron of ours story time wrote mm -hmm. actually just out of the blue messaged me and said hey you need some sh you guys are dumb and boring so here is uh, i'm gonna he, fix this he didn't say dumb and boring <laughs> but he's like you need something during Plinko. He was right. And he sent us this and we're like, that's freaking awesome. Yeah. Thank he, you. He wrote it, performed it, and produced the music video. Thank you, Story Time. Yeah. Okay. Also Shane Long. Yes. My friend. Okay, so here are the options. Please keep these in mind. Stole the glass, weed lens, price sample pack, choice of my t-shirt, cut rocks, glass five inches, the next week's picker pass, a bottle choice, and a wild tumbler. And the bottle choice today is old Ezra 7 barrel strength bourbon. I had to make sure that was right. It's good. I love that. Actually, I know it's like people, I love that one. It's a good one. Yeah. It's, and the it's, old Ezra 7 one. barrel strength rye is also delicious. We are not here to fight. Sean, here's the thing on the leggings. I'm in fighting. I'm oh. fighting with the manufacturer on them. They keep saying they're coming. They're liars. Yeah. We're I'm waiting. thinking they're coming the next two weeks. They're oh, wow. Soon. We got a yawn here. This but when they come out, we're doing a big mm -hmm. promo. A Fucking big! Oh, We're putting leggings a massive in every box. Big promo or something. Screw them. Well, that's your own fault. Okay, ready? So now we. Oh my gosh, this kid. Yes, Richie C. I just pushed the wrong button. Please hold. Sorry. I'm oh, there. see, she can't have the mouse. Okay, there. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun Why are ouch? Okay, it, it is Malum. Malum. Congratulations. Okay, Malum, you know the drill. Here are your options. Go ahead and pick your letter A, B, C, D, E, or F. Why are you so feisty? Feisty mustard. If I'm feisty, feisty I'm not mustard. yawning. <laughs> Arr. 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 I know. Hey. So. I see. Okay. Here we go. F hole. F hole. Yep. Woo. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Dun dun dun. dun. <laughs> eight. Oh, it's still it's letter. The tumbler, right? Eight is the tumbler. The tumbler. It's one hey, Wait. So you won this. That's, that's going to at least. This. I have this. I have a feeling. I. No, we don't know. I mean, we don't know. I mean. <laughs> Congratulations. You tell me when I can meet up with you and Elise can give my Or we can, we can mail it. We can also mail it. Yes. We can. 
Sometimes okay. meeting this time of year is hard. I know you're a local. I just saw him yesterday. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fine. What yeah. am I? It's fine. Said, awesome. I know someone who needs one. Thanks. <laughs> All right. If you haven't checked out Injury Drew, I don't know about the other injuries, but Injury Drew, not going to lie, was awesome. Uh, could you please read this for me? <laughs> Can you just... Wait, hold on. Let me put the glasses on to see how much I uh, reject this comment. Uh, those are pretty sweet. They fit Michelob them perfectly. Okay. What I will say, they... Okay. I, I have one. I have one here. See? I, I hydrate. I hydrate. Mm-hmm. They fit water. Mm -hmm. Good Lord. And, I mean, orange juice. Mm -hmm. Electrolytes. The, the best. They also fit. That is water. They fit skinny. That is hydration. I'm not going to lie. Want to know how I learned this? One of my rodeo queens. All I know is um, you can judge me if I love you enough. If you don't, I will hide it. Which yes. means I love you all. Donald Brand says, congrats on the stepping stone into Indian whiskey. This was awesome. Thank you. Donna, please email us at womenofwhiskeys at gmail.com because I want to know more about Indian whiskey. And it seems like you know a lot about this. Please send it to me because I didn't even, it wasn't even on my radar at all. At all. What state? Uh, what state capital is the only one without a McDonald's? Little Rock, Arkansas, Montpelier, Vermont, Des Moines, Iowa, Trent, New Jersey. Arkansas, Vermont, Iowa, New Jersey. Which one of those states' capitals Des doesn't have one? Same. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. All right. Mullen um, says going to put a lime in it. Well, I mean. The answer is Vermont. Montpelier, Vermont does not have one. Guys, I know that um, there's a lot of things to do this time of year. Thank you for hanging out. I was looking for the buttons. Are you doing the buttons? It. I got it. You Are say, you? I'm going to oh. wait for your verb. Oh, she has the buttons. All right. Hey, um, thank you. There is no wrong way to drink this shit. We got all the opinions on all this stuff. You Just failed, by the way. Share it with your friends. You failed. About what? All the stuffs. The what answers that no, I'm just kidding. It was not pillier. Actually, I'm pretty sure I failed, but what? The answers on the questions. I just said. Oh no, I won. I, I won. Know. It was five to four. We 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 did that. I almost got her. I know. I was too smart for you. All right. Good night. Okay. Thank you. We appreciate all the support and see you guys next week. Just know that we couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you. See you next week.